morning. I want to go over, I was listening to a professional, an expert in the field of health and wellness and she's actually a coach for obese women. Her sales point is pretty much kind of salty towards trainers that maybe look like me or coaches that look like me. So I'm going to go over what I heard and what I felt that you needed to hear. I've also followed a few people in the industry that do very well and they have similar programs to Hot Moms. Their saying is, you know, ditch your meal plan. And then I've had people that say, you know, oh, I intuitively eat and I do blah, blah, blah. And the people that tell me that they intuitively eat, I have never been impressed by their physiques ever. Much less, uh, if I saw their blood work, I would probably be blown away. There's some fitness models online on Instagram that say that they intuitively eat. I can look and tell that if they're healthy, I don't know. Here's the problem with this particular train of thought of, I don't want to have to track my food or you shouldn't have, tracking your food's going to throw you off or you know what, if you're morbidly obese and you're trying to get fit, fuck those skinny bitches, let me show you how to eat. And here's how to eat when you're, her thing is only eat when you're hungry and how to stop eating, you know, when you're full, okay? And this lady is still obese. Then they're gonna say, well, Casey, you're fat shaming. Okay, well, I hear what you're saying. Now, let me, let me go beyond that. Me being intuitive, I can already tell you she's still very angry. She still hates herself, blah, blah, blah. I mean, just because somebody's successful does not mean they have it together, okay? Got it? Good. Next, this particular lady, and if you're like me, and if you're like anybody in this group that has really like connected with the story, if you've watched my webinar, connected to my story and you know about the trauma, you know if you've had trauma, it's hard to listen to your gut. Literally, it's hard to connect to your solar plexus because past traumas, toxic relationships, or whatever the case may be, rejection, not good enough, whatever the case may be for you, is going to affect how you perceive things anyway. So those that come from trauma or relationship abuse or any type of psychological, emotional trauma, it's going to be really hard for you to listen to your gut because there's so much stored negative emotion. That is exactly like telling an alcoholic, well, just, you know, only drink when you're feeling this way and here's how to stop. They're an alcoholic. They use alcohol to numb out things. They already have a problem with that. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, can't see the forest for the trees. Morbidly obese or obese that has problem with skinny girls telling people kind of how to eat, okay? They don't want to be told what to eat. That's the fucking problem. There's a lot there behind the food. There's way too much emotion and old beliefs and fear connected to that food. Like half of these girls created the program because diets ruined their life. No, no, the diet didn't ruin your life. The reason why you needed to diet is what ruined your life. You never got to the bottom of what, ru what caused the diet to ruin your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope I made that really, really clear. So those of you that have struggled your whole life, no matter if it's overweight, because look, I know, I know supermodels that are very depressed and feel exactly like the obese lady seriously they're still as they hate themselves they beat themselves up daily it's like they're just kicking their own butt you know what i'm saying it's skinny fat it's no different at the end of the day i mean i met a lady in the gym while i go i need to take a shower after i just get around her she's miserable you would never know that on the outside but i may be an empath and intuitive like i can't even look at her she is so miserable and she looks normal she looks like she plays tennis every day shape of your body does not matter okay so when you see somebody or you're thinking you know i don't want to have to weigh or track my stuff i've been over that before you don't need to weigh and track your stuff to get a huge transformation sometimes you don't need that but like i say it depends on the person it depends on what problem are you showing up with if you're showing up with a bad weight problem where there's a problem where you binge eat or there's a problem where you don't eat enough that's the real problem Let's change the relationship and ideas around about the whatever it is that's causing it. You can, tracking your food is a, is a high level thing, okay? It is a ne next level stuff. It's the same as money. Look, if you were gonna go hire a money coach and you say, all right, I wanna pay off debt and I wanna make more money, but I don't want to track what I spend. I don't want to try to make extra money. I don't really wanna save. I just would like to pay off my debt and make more money by like playing a bingo and like, 
you know, just feeling it out and just trying. Like, how far are you really going to get? Why are you avoiding the work? Why are you avoiding the work? I don't understand. So the money part, if you want more money, guess what you got to do? You got to start tracking the money. You got to show money that you like the money. You got to pay attention to your money. You need to start knowing where every dollar is going. I know where every $2 is going. And if you don't believe me, my level up people know. Bet that. I know where every penny is going. And I got a lot going out. I got a lot going out. I know how much comes in. I know from where it comes in. You have to know where your money's going, where it is. You gotta have a special relationship with your money. You've gotta have different beliefs around money. That's why people don't have money. They don't know about money. They think having money is Dave Ramsey. I do not vibe with Dave Ramsey. Back in the day when I was like clueless, I wanted to be like Dave Ramsey. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a millionaire and drive a putter car and not be able to eat Starbucks. I want to do the things that make me feel wealthy and, and rich. Not saying I want to blow money, but if I want to go have this or that, it's because I can, because I know how to make money now. I know that I've been trusted with what, I'm, what I've been given so I, I can be given more. I now see that, hey, I was spending on this other thing and I didn't even need to. Now I can't feel good about where I spend. So, so that's my beef about meal plans and um, oh no, we're going to do intuitive eating because those skinny girls look, look, they track their food and their meal plans. Do you want to track your meals? Do you want to be just a slave to your food? Honey, you are already a slave because look at your body and your health. You are already a slave. Food owns you. Food owns you every day. Every time you go to eat or you get hungry, food owns you and you don't want to, you don't, you're trying to avoid the work and they make lots of money. This girl's probably a millionaire. But she's avoiding the inner work that we teach here in Hot Moms. Or not here, in the paid group in Hot Moms. So until you address whether you're skinny or overweight, or I don't know, until you address like, why are you not wanting to track your food? I met a girl, she wanted to pay me thousands of dollars. Former competitor, didn't want to track her food. Says she intuitively eats. I'm looking at her like, mm-hmm. And then would feel so bad when she ate like a scone or something. And horrible health. In horrible health emotionally and physically you'd never know it I said sorry I'm sorry I can't work with you because what I need to have happen right now and you can ask some of my clients some of my clients I don't even make I don't even care if they track because that's not their issue their issue is time management their issue is becoming a better mom wife and entrepreneur or business owner and they're just trying to stay healthy as possible because they know they need to be healthy to run their business and to be a good mother but the and I, I don't I don't require them you know, Krista, I don't really require her to track her stuff every day because I know that's not, food is not Krista's issue. Krista's issue is similar to mine. It's the masculine energy of going so hard in her career that everything else gets left behind. So we've had to work on balance. And I know that's a horrible word, but you guys know when I say balance, what it really means. So the people that come in and there's a food issue, oh, you're gonna, you're going, to, we're gonna handle that food issue, baby, right on like we're gonna hit it just there's no time why, why waste time we have things to do so this is my beef with I'm gonna intuitively eat <laughs> I would I don't want to work that hard okay I much rather track my food so that if I don't if I can't work out this week like this week has been rough because I've got this project I'm trying to do we're doing new webinars for you it's amazing we're doing new products we're doing new we're making things better workouts have not been a top priority, but I'm, I'm going in, I'm doing like two exercises. So I have to stay on top of my tracking food so that I'm not eating over or I'm not eating under. Oh, like Kate said yesterday, I'll just not weigh my grapes, but you may be eating 200 grams of grapes where you need to only be eating 100 grams of grapes. And then that way on the weekend, you'll know, Hey, I can go out and have this or your budget, because if you follow your budget, okay, if we're talking about money or calories, you know that on the weekend, you don't need to go out and act like you know, everything's uh, G100. You need to kind of like keep the, keep the reins tight if your goals are that serious in health. Like if you have health issues and you don't eat gluten or you're really trying to lose weight because it's a big deal to you and this week has not been a great one, then the weekend, honey, you better not be eating pizza and going off the rails. You need to just keep it, you know, steady in alignment with your goals. But that's a person that doesn't have an eating disorder too. That's a person that doesn't have a compensatory behavior. So, I mean, 90% of you have a compensatory behavior. I have to work daily on 
my issues. And you've already, you already know those of you that are in level up how to channel addictions. Addictions can be a great thing. You just have to know how to channel it. You've got to be aware that you've got one. Amen, Sabrina. Do you know what I'm saying? Sabrina is one of the few that will admit, hey, I had a problem and uh, we're working on it. We're working through it. We're good. So when you see people online and it's very attractive and, and sexy for them to say, hey, you don't have to track your stuff. No, no, no. We don't track our stuff. We, we eat intuitively and woo, to hell with those skinny girls. That's a problem if they're still obese. If they're still obese, you know, and I understand that if somebody's 500 pounds and now they're 200, their life has changed forever. Why stop there? Why go that far to only go that far? Pay attention to why you're not wanting to track what you eat. Why are you scared of it? Why are you scared of the work? I don't understand. It's like saying, I want more money and paying a money coach. And the second they say, well, let's budget financial planner. How much can you put in every week? Oh, I don't know. I just, let's just do it intuitively. Like, um, $5 feels good. Well, what are you wanting? Well, I want to be like really rich. Okay. So you're not wanting to tell me like about your financials or you don't know how much you actually make. No, it's just like intuit feels good. Cause you know, that's bad. If I, if I like hold on that tight, that's a problem. I need to be into it. Do you see how stupid that sounds? They would laugh in your face and tell you to go somewhere else and come back when you're serious. Food is no different, but there's such an emotional tie to food. Food is an, the most abused thing. I mean, it's like worse than drugs, honey. Sugar is worse than an opiate and heroin. I told you that when they gave rats sugar, they could stand on a hot surface longer because it numbs out pain. So I'm, I'm really passionate today about this, about this food thing and tracking. And, and don't get me wrong. You do not need to track food to have success with your health. I repeat, you do not have to track your food to have success with your health. Mm -mm. That's not everybody's issue. Everybody has an individual need. You a snowflake. All right, good. Hope that helped. Talk to you soon.